Hello YouTube, FSP here. Just got back from the store with a monthly run. Bought a little more prepping than I usually do, so I thought I would share some of that with y'all. First up on the list, K1 kerosene. Fuel's got to have it. Got a whole gallon of that. Two more of these. Again, fuel, got to have it. This makes plenty for me, probably. Something like that. I sat and stared at a little old tea kettle. I've been thinking a lot about how using uh, dehydrated food and uh, freeze-dried food, we're going to have to be boiling lots of water uh, to reconstitute food with. I looked at a little old tea kettle there for about 10 minutes, and it was barely over a liter of water. So I decided to get one of these instead. The old-timey homemade coffee pot. You know, the old uh, percolator style. You set it on the campfire. I don't really particularly drink coffee. But I figure this is going to be the best way to boil water. You can put a couple of liters in here. Boil it. If I wanted to make tea, I do drink tea. So if I wanted to make tea, and I got the fixings in there to make tea with. So it's got a good spout and a pour handle. You know. So about that. That was 20 That was almost $24. But I've been thinking to be heating up a bunch of water, I need a big water pot. So we got that. If my sister or somebody wants to make coffee, it'll do that as well. Next up, I bought a level for the shop. Been needing uh, a level to do some projects with. This one also has a ruler on it. A level and a ruler. So a uh, short level. Got that. I'm going to put it back down here so it don't take up my whole uh, room there on the table. Also, got some baking up. They make uh, commercially sold baking grease now. This is good for cooking. You can put them in beans and flavor beans with it, that kind of stuff. We got one of those. Of course, we're sitting right next to it was a ghee, so I got another clarified butter. Shelf stable butter. Uh, that's some gift boxes for a gift card. Uh, don't know why that's in here. I guess it was just in here. Uh, was looking for some Fails naphtha, but I uh, couldn't find any, so I got some Zope for SHTF laundry soap. Uh, Zope soap Fails naphtha. Uh, so I got one of those. I do have one of the rub boards. I do have one of those. Uh, always needing some uh, super glue, so I got some Gorilla Glue clear grip. Some Gorilla Glue for uh, things when I need it. Let's see here, what all's in this bag? Got a couple of uh, got a couple of Idahoan uh, baby red potatoes. Uh, I get the baby reds because it's just potatoes. They don't put garlic and butter and all that other stuff in there. When you get the just potatoes, they'll last longer on the shelf, so I got that. Of course, every man needs some camouflage duct tape, so we got another roll of that. I found a little container of small jack chain, so I got some jack chain. You never know what you're going to need to hang over a fire, possibly. Just look like it would work for that. So, uh, I'm trying to think out of the box. That's some uh, cannon jar lids. These are wide mouths. And uh, these are regulars. Wide mouth, regular. Uh, so, we got some cannon jar lids. I don't have a ton of cannon jars, but I do have a few. Uh, some chicken bullion. Got a little six pack of that for $1.50. Also. Picked up a manwich. I always like a manwich every now and then. So we picked up one can of that. I got a container of sea salt. Uh, always picking up salt of, of some form, type or another. You always need salt. I got some, uh, some more vac sealing bag, seal a meal. That's prepper related, I think. Uh, Got some sardines, a couple cans of sardines to go on the shelf. 
Oh, mercy. Yeah, that's a little box of uh, these uh, magic erasers. These things work wonders in the kitchen, or in my kitchen anyway. I guess I'm a messy cook or a messy eater. But uh, these are good. I also like the, the, uh, the little thin ones, too. These work great for hard scrubbing stuff. I got some of that. I got some septic tank maintenance. It's about time for another one of those. And let's see, I think that was everything that I needed to show. Also, got some cash. Uh, cash is important. Uh, I got uh, a couple hundred dollars in small bills, fives, ones. When everybody's broke during the SHTF, you're going to need small bills. So these are mostly fives. I do have 110 and 120 in the back. But uh, some small bill cash, always very important. And silver right now is uh, it's over my threshold. When it's over twenty five dollars an ounce, I don't buy it, so I stack cash instead. Uh, so we're stacking some cash for emergencies. It's always good to have that. Uh, so that's what we got this week. Uh, call it a little prepper haul, if you would. Uh, December twenty twenty three prepper haul. Uh, picked up quite a few things from the. Uh, outdoorsy department especially wanted to get something to boil a lot of water in so this will do well on that uh these are not cheap the little tea kettle i looked at was like uh 11 bucks this was almost 25 but uh it's worth it it's got the the ability to make coffee percolate coffee or whatever and uh you can boil a lot of water with this so i thought i'd pick that up and of course propane very important uh i've got one of the uh laundry scrubber scrub boards whatever you call it i got one of those i got some soap soap for that uh trying to think out of the box uh i've got a big order from amazon coming which has a couple of giant spools of lamp wick so i wanted to make sure i had plenty of uh kerosene and uh, lamp oil and stuff, so we did get some uh, some of that to go with the lamp wick that'll be coming So uh, thank y'all for watching. Yes, we still prep on this channel. We don't always show it uh, But uh hope y'all have a blessed day and uh, whew, My Christmas shopping is done and that feels damn good. It does So uh, a stacking hiatus is over as far as silver until the price goes down uh, or when the price goes down so uh, thank y'all, everyone. Thank you uh, to all of you who are always supportive on this channel. Uh, I appreciate all y'all. I don't say that enough. Do the thing. Smash the little bell. Hit the like button. Share the video, uh, you know, if you would. And we appreciate that. We appreciate you being here. And uh, if we don't see you beforehand, have a blessed and safe Christmas holiday. It's Farmer Son Prepping. Also known as FSP, and we'll check y'all later.